today I want to try and get top 100 in the world in S1 class in this road racing circuit. I'm going to give myself 20 minutes to try to complete this and if I don't complete with the 20 minutes I failed. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do one lap to scout out the track or a couple laps to scout out the track and then probably five to ten laps to do some speed laps and let's hope that I can get top top 100 in the world. What I have noticed with uh, a lot of these rivals at the moment is that there's a lot of cheating times and I'd say since, well, since there's a lot of different cars so I say the times won't get legit till when there's a consistent one car so in this case it'll probably be around about around about here I'll do a bit less I'll do about let's say 80 so a 44.667 is the time I want to beat so if I can get in the top 180 in the world or in, in the, on this leaderboard it will I'll, I'll consider me top 100 in the world for this track so the stopwatch for 20 minutes will start around about well, as soon as I get in pretty much alright off on my first lap this is gonna these next couple of laps just gonna be scouting out and see where where I can push the car and where I can't be pushing the car. Looks like I can pretty much take a lot of these corners flat out. This one I definitely can't though. Broke a bit too late there. Pretty uh, this is like my first time racing on this track. So It'll take me a couple of laps to get used to it. Okay, off onto our next uh, scouting lap. So I ended up doing a bit more of a push lap there. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another two laps and then we'll see what I get on the leaderboard. Because I feel like I have a pretty good idea of where I could push myself and where I have to break. So I'll do two more laps, I'll check where I'm on the leaderboard, and then I'm going to set 180 uh, as the rival to beat. Alright, and better later this flying lap. I just want to get try and get one flying lap put in. So I need to break a lot sooner there as well. Alright, and better later. So I'm going to check to see whereabouts I am on the leaderboard, to see if I'm... See if I'm in the top 300 maybe, top 200 maybe. And that gives us, that will give us a good indication on where I'm at at the moment. So at the moment I'm probably in about top 400 in the world. Which isn't too bad for my first couple attempts. But the time I want to be beating, to get into the top 180 or top 100 would be a 46.54 which is about another two seconds faster. So let's see if I'm able to do that. There are still a couple of times, uh, a couple of places I can scope a bit more time in. I want to, I want to see how much more I can push in. I'm also allowed to change my tune on my car if I really need it, but hopefully this tune I'm using right now should be fine. Right on my flight, flight first flying lap. Okay, and. That didn't go too well. I was just seeing if I could actually flap that, but I couldn't. So let's go and try again. Slaps already right off like the break. I don't think this tune is working for me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and chuck in another tune and see if that works. Because what I have noticed is this circuit is quite uh, high pace. Some but it's also, well, it's also got lots of grip, so I'm wondering if I have more handling. It actually may help me get around some of those tighter corners, or those harder corners. So let's see, do I have any better Creative Hub tunes? And if I search for an S1 tune. So this one here, this gives a bit more speed. But it has a less acceleration, handling, braking, off-road. Um... But it has a very good top speed, better 0 to 100, better power, more torque, 
uh, and it's got less weight. So I could try that. It's got good popularity as well. Better than most of these other ones. Um, this one's also got a bit more top speed. Probably down to the tune. This is a rear wheel drive. So I might, might give this one a go. And see how this tune goes. So I've got to probably about another 12 minutes left of, or maybe another 10 minutes. It's left on my, uh, my time left. So let's see if I can, uh, beat this. So there's a new engine, different engine here. But what I have noticed is there's, um, the tyres are stock, not race. Which will probably give me less grip, which yes. Let's see if I've got less grip. I don't think this tune is it. I was about three seconds slower with that tune. I, I just wonder if maybe a rear wheel drive might give me that extra boost. But I feel like that tune before was is probably my best bet. But maybe a little bit different. So this one has a better acceleration but less top speed. Which is probably better to be honest, so Hold on, what this is the one I just had it in, right? So I'll try I'm gonna put this on. That's all the same pass, it's a different tune. I just wanna see what else there is. There might be like some so this is going to a rear wheel drive, it has a worse acceleration, but has more power and less weight, but I feel like this is going to be a drift machine. Same with that. This has more torque, less weight, but it also has worse speed. But has better handling, that actually could work. Might actually give this, this, uh, this tune a shot. Because if I can get more handling, I might be able to sweep around some of those uh, harder corners. So let's give it a shot. So I think this tune is going to be it or not it. So I'm probably not going to change the tune. This is the one I'm probably going to grind with. You just have to pull it up correctly. So I got into the sevens just then. Just can't miss people messing up like this. There we go. 47.8. That's surely got to be up there. Let's check that. And then I might give myself a couple more attempts and then I'll pack it up for the day. So it's not going to be quite the top 100, but it might be top 200, top 250 maybe. But this track is pretty hard, well, to get a good time on I feel. Because there's a lot of like moments you can make errors. So that would give me about top 300. Uh, coming up around maybe top 250. Okay, well I think the one uh, getting top 100 might be out of my reach a little bit. So my next goal might be trying to get 280 or top 200. So I'll quickly see how fast I have to get to get uh, top 200 in, in the world for this track. So I have to shave off about 4 tenths, which is definitely doable. So I think I got that. Four.
There we go, 47.1. That was a really good lap. There were some times where I cut corners so hard. I'm going to give myself for another two more laps. To see if I can try to beat that. Two more flying laps. And if I can't beat that, that is a really solid time, I feel. I just spent the time again on an accident. I, I was going on a cooldown lap. And I was thinking, oh, this time could actually be good. And I just spent it again. Uh, now I just want to get into a get into a 46. I think I'm going to break the rules a little bit and give myself an extra 10 more minutes because I actually kind of really want to get into the top 100 in the world. So I feel like with this tune, anything is possible. some corners at the start and we'll do well at stop this one, but this is going to be a pretty good light. I got a 46.5, but I did rewind. That is really good. I missed that. Oh, this is going to be really hard. There we go. I got a 6-5. I got a 6-5 official. That that is that is top 100. I think I think that's top 100. A 46.55. I'm pretty sure it's a top 100 for this track. I did go over the time limit. I did say 20 minutes. I changed it to about 30 minutes happy with that because I, I think I got top 100 if not very close but keep in mind there are still cheaters within that top 100 list so let's have a look alright let's see 
Oh. So it says 182. 182. But I believe there's still cheaters within here. So you look at this cheater, 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 cheater. Che anything probably under here, all cheaters. All these guys are probably cheaters, cheaters. All these guys are cheaters. No way you can get these times. Uh, still probably cheating. These guys are all probably still cheating. All the... Okay, he's... I know Grandma Driver is not a cheater. I know he is. But then you look at, there's some guys in here. Look that, that's the cheating time. That's the cheating time. That's the cheating time. That may be, I don't probably not though. Look, these are, so that, that's definitely securing me top 100 in the world for this track. Uh, if you guys like these sorts of videos and want to see more of these shootout type of videos, um, please give the video a like. Uh, and comment below if you want more. Other than that, thank you for watching.